hello everybody in this video i'm just going to demonstrate to you how to connect a seven segment display with a microcontroller and how to display a single digit and also how to display a multiple digit first let me prepare the hardware which is needed as i mentioned earlier um, we need to have a microcontroller and there must be a buffer and also a seven segment display and first thing is i'm just trying to uh, have a components that means 8015 controller we already added and then we need a seven segment display okay so you can choose here as a common anode common anode display okay so there are multiple uh, you know models are there like multiplexed types a single one okay you can choose the one which you want so let me choose in this one common anode let me choose as a red one okay the seven segments are there okay and and then i'm going to choose or select a buffer that means 74 hct 573 okay this buffer i'm going to choose and i'm going to place the components first let me place a buffer you can see here this is the input side this is output side okay so i need to just flip it okay so just move and as i mentioned in my earlier videos you just connect one wire and then just double click it okay so you are connected with that and then you need to connect the seven segment display so zoom in and zoom out appropriately so that you will feel comfortable and i'm going to choose seven segment display see before placing itself you can also rotate this component that means when you select here you can see here right so that time itself even you can uh, position yourself like x mirror everything and then you can place it over here okay and one component here and then double click again we are just connecting uh, without current limiting resistor but in real time we need to have a resistor so let me show this demo with the resistor itself so we need to have a resistor and you can see whenever i place you know multiple resistors uh, it it is like quite challenging so what you can do is just hide the resistance values once you set the value you're like let us say 200 ohm hide the values so that only the resistance will be shown then just copy this okay so you can have this copy component and then just place it eight okay actually we need only seven just i'm telling like how we can do the things much easier okay and place a seven segment display and then connect the components through the wire oh, sorry so it must be from one connection then just double click okay since it's a common anode type we need to connect here as a power that means the power is connected over here okay now uh, let me go back to the program what i used in my earlier session okay now you can see here these lines we don't need to write now infinite loop just i want to display permanently a value in a seven segment display okay so in an infinite loop we are not going to do anything and in my previous videos i have shown how to code the values for seven segment display so let me say now like care letter equals 0x it means hexadecimal okay 0x08 now this value i am going to send it to port 1 okay so port 1 is nothing but a letter okay 
so 0x 0x means something like something like this okay 0 0 0 and 1 0 0 okay so only segment a is on b is on c is on and this one is going to be off like that we are going to uh, you know give the data to the seven segment display so let me compile this program and then the x file is already pointed out just let me run the program now and see if any error well uh, we are not connected these pins as i already explained in my video earlier this power has to be connected to the latch enable and the ground has to be connected to output enable so you can see here it shows like a okay so what i will do is now um, i will modify the program to show the numerals from 0 to 9 in order okay so until i type my program i time being i will just pause my video now now you can see that i have just modified the code here actually in my previous demonstration we don't need of a delay program as we are not used the delay function whereas in this exercise we need to have a delay routine now first what we are going to do we are declaring here a group of values okay this is coded for 0 this is for 1 2 3 like that is up to 0 to 9 is coded and stored in an array now you can see here i am using a code call uh, you know the keyword call code why it has to be given here if you don't do that whatever variables you declare that goes by default it goes to ram okay so as you know here the memory resource is very memory resource is very precious we need to be very careful to save uh, values in a specific into a code memory or into a data memory now if you don't save this one into you know with the keyword code what happens is all these values just going to occupy the ram and not only that to do that the operation also sometimes um, the program may be you know higher in size just just check over here i'm just removing this code i'm just trying to compile and you can see the total program size is huge whereas if i had the keyword and if I compile, you can see the code size become very small. Okay, so this is the values which need to be displayed. Okay, why we need to save this one into code memory? As you know, these are all the lookup values which is not going to change during the program execution. That means these values are always fixed; it's not going to change. So it kind of a lookup table. Okay, so that lookup tables can be saved comfortably in our you know code memory then we have a you know um, a variable called i because i need to send the first data followed by a delay why we have to give a delay here because we need to send the data one after another so that the person can view that particular data okay so i'm just sending the value i as a zero that means letter of zero first value will be sent to port one and then there is a delay and then the i value is incremented by 1 and we are sending i of uh, letter of 1 that means 7 9 we are sending actually we are sending only these zeros and ones whereas when it comes to the visual it is going to be a uh, numbers from 0 to 9 let me just see how it works um, there is no change in the hardware connections that means it remains same okay only thing is we are changing the program by changing the program you just going to observe what kind of changes we see on the results okay yeah you may be noticed that the numbers are in the mirror image as we mirrored the component okay so optical component is not to have a mirror one sorry for that you can see here now this is how the counting goes on in the next video segment i am going to show you how to design a two digit counter and how to you know um, have a multiplexed display as you have noticed here 
one seven segment display is occupied one port if i am planning to have a four digit counter it will just run out of you know the ports whereas in real time it is not done like that we use a concept called multiplexing in my next video i am going to show you what is multiplexing and how to connect multiple seven segment uh, you know display with the microcontroller and how to write a program for counting a sequence from 0 to 99 and we are going to display the results using the multiplexing concept on a seven segment display hope you enjoy this video thanks for watching if you like these videos just hit a like uh, you know uh, and encourage me and also if you would like to share this information to your friends just uh, share the videos and also the share the channel uh, thanks for your support we will meet in next video